Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. Welcome to Real Love Tarot with Renee. Hope you guys are all doing amazing in this 2024. It's been a long time since I did a reading for you guys, but I've been compelled to give you one. See what's going on in your current energy. For all my Aquarius, there's someone rising Venus North Node. I am an Aquarius rising, you guys. Yes, I'm Libra Sun, Aquarius rising, so this will resonate with me as well. If you guys are new to Real Love Tarot, welcome to the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Make sure as you guys come in to uh, hit the like, share, or subscribe button, whatever resonates with you uh, for this reading. So the uh, message can get out to other Aquarians who need to receive this message. All right? Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. All right? You guys are feeling a little defeated, uh, love bugs, especially if you're Aquarius Sun. Yeah, I feel like I feel that energy. You feel a little defeated. We're gonna get into the tarot first, um, uh, before I uh pull any energetic cards out. Let's see, Let's see what tarot has to say for you guys. Seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, maybe, yeah, somebody's lying, king of cups. The sun, something's been illuminated. Three of cups, yeah, third party. Yep, you feel defeated by this. Either you or them, seven of swords energy. You guys are out here. For some of you guys, you could be in a committed relationship or something like that. But I'm also feeling the energy of somebody could be emotionally manipulating you, even though the king of cups is in the outright. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy or someone who has that highly aspected in their chart. Under chart, the sun card is here. Something is being illuminated, okay? Yeah, uh, uh, regarding a third party, all right? If you feel defeated by this person or somebody feels defeated by you, Knight of Swords here. Someone wants to probably possibly come rushing in, maybe to have a conversation, Knight of Wands. Something happened in a heat of passion for Wand Six of Swords. Maybe somebody reconciled with the old lover is what I'm getting. Yeah, nine of pentacles on the bottom of the deck, six of pentacles, page of cups. Yeah, this makes sense. So six of cups is technically in the reverse here. There is no equal give and take. And the reason why is because somebody has been giving to another love situation with the page of cups and you've been feeling kind of uh, like this person has been showing you unrequited love. All right, so the hot resonates. Yeah, this could be uh, you could be in the King of Cups energy as well as what I'm energetically getting, but um, take a hot resonates is not going to resonate with everyone. So, you guys that know my model, you've been watching me, I only take a resonates if it doesn't fit, you must have quit. Yeah, something five of cups. Yeah, somebody is regretting even um, connecting or getting with. A uh, third party energy here. It could be you, it could be them. For some of you guys, y'all could be the ones who stepped out due to being unhappy in a current situation. What is this? The judgment in reverse. Somebody made a very bad judgment call here. It's in the reverse. Yeah. When it comes to a nine of pentacles, it's still in the bottom of the deck. Let me shuffle these again. So what I'm energetically getting here, and especially from these cards, is somebody made a mistake. Somebody could have stepped out with a third party, karmic energy, and now they're regretting it. Yeah, five of wands here. <sighs> so somebody feels very defensive is what I'm, what I'm getting here. And somebody wants to come overcome these challenges um, and the obstacles and challenges, yeah, uh, with the Seven of Cups here because somebody did create a lot of illusions in this connection about how someone truly felt. And with the Seven of Wands here, I felt like somebody felt like they were uh, fighting against a lot of outside competition. Uh, I feel like also someone is in the energy of feeling like they could be under attack and you could be wanting, needing to feel like you need to guard yourself from someone, you're in this protective, defensive energy. And I just said, when I started reading, I feel like somebody feels defeated, right? Seven of Wands energy could be that, uh, very much so. 
child. What's going on here? Justice in reverse. Yeah, and these cards is in the Empress. Woo, with the Empress here on the bottom of the deck. I'm going to leave her there. Yeah, the star. You could be a star. They could be a star. Check it out. Resonates. This is the overall energy. Somebody was done an injustice, right? Somebody wasn't fair in a, in a situation. Somebody could be looking for like some type of middle ground here. I'm going to pull the Empress here. Four of Pentacles. The hangman. Somebody is feeling stuck. Chariot is in the reverse. So, yep. Somebody somebody learned some information with the high priestess energy here. Could have found out that somebody was giving something or breadcrumbing them. Giving something to someone else or breadcrumbing them in a situation with a connection. So let me just go into the intuitive deck because I just need a little bit more insight, Aquarius. This, yeah, this could have just recently happened too for some of you guys. Um, you know, somebody is finding it very challenging to overcome, uh, overcome a challenge with you now that it's been, <laughs> it's been found out that they've been out here tiptoeing, either you or them. Um, for some of you guys, y'all was doing a little tiptoeing. I'm not your judge or your jury here. I'm just the reader. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But for some of you guys, it was your person. They've been kind of, uh, so you're an Aquarius and you've been kind of uh, wondering if someone has been stepping out on you, cheating on you or whatever the case may be. Yeah, they see that you could have been doing that and you could have. And for some of you guys, uh, you could be married to the Empress or for some of you guys, I'm also getting the energy of too with the uh, Empress Page of Cups energy here. You could have you could have tiptoed out on somebody and uh got them pregnant. Take it out resonates liberatory inner Libra Taurus energy here. Uh, some of you guys could have, you know, be dealing with the Libra Taurus. Doesn't have to be anybody could be embodying the Empress energy, or you could be embodying the Empress energy. Let's get more messages uh for you guys. What's going on? Pretending not to care. Yeah, you could be pretending not to care. They could be pretending not to care, but don't believe the hype. Yeah, that came right out. Damn. <laughs> yeah, somebody is learning hard lessons by their actions. Um, when when it comes to just cheating, yeah. Yeah, somebody's been staging some type of crime thing. What's there going on? There's way more to the story. And you guys, some of you guys, you do have new beginnings coming up. For some of you guys, it's the new beginnings that someone's gonna be. Someone ended up pregnant. Could be you, could be them. Yeah. But somebody got caught. I feel like somebody got caught. Now they're regretting their uh, their decisions. Yeah. You got someone in your energy thinking of you, though. Very hard. Maybe thinking about how to reconcile this connection um, after doing you so dirty. You or them. Flip the roles. Ooh. Yeah. Entertainment. You could be in the entertainment business. Uh, listen, or this is going to be coming out uh, publicly. Yeah, entertainment. You could be an entertainer, star. Yeah, Oof. maybe there's going to be some public acknowledgement of this on social media, the news, child, stress of it all. Um, yeah, somebody's been love bombing you. The energy I'm mostly getting here as well, too, is that you could be wondering like, damn, you know, you haven't touched me in months or days or weeks. Whatever the case may be, something just fell off in the energy. And maybe uh, some of you guys um, approached this person um, and asked questions like, hey, what's up? You know, like, da 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 da. Or you went snooping and found something out. Take it out, resonates. Um, or something came to light. Yeah. Maybe somebody uh, got caught. Uh, or left something behind. I don't know. I'm getting that energy. Yeah. But somebody's been standing on faith. You're them that some you guys could pull through this situation. What is it? This was the last straw, though. So, yikes. So, you guys may not be able to recover from this betrayal. Yeah. Somebody is definitely lusting over you. Could be the third party energy. Um, child, stress of it all. That's a lot, spirit. We are not gossiping. <laughs> what are these? Yeah. Yeah, this was just a temporary situation with this third party. But now somebody's pregnant. You get what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, just was so curious about you or them and they had to have you. Yeah. And they're in love with you. So whoever this is. Yeah. And they're jealous and envious. So you guys 
could have gotten yourself caught up for some of y'all with someone you could have got caught up with a third party who's actually in love with you and this person is very jealous and envious and they could have I don't know why I want to say purposely got pregnant for some of you not all of you take it out resonates give me give me more who yeah realizing the truth yep so if this is you Aquarius and someone did this to you your let's say your person did this to you and treated with a third party you're realizing the truth about a whole situation right your person could have been out here just lusting over this person or they just could have had some type of thing or fling. It could have been a temporary fix for your person, but for this person that they, in, this third party that they ended up with had actual true feelings for them and they purposely got pregnant. That's for some of y'all. It's the storyline I'm getting here from uh, Spirit. That's what I energetically feel. And somebody's been lying trying to cover this up, you know, um, staging the crime scene. The reason why I say I feel like um, somebody got pregnant on purpose is just like, yeah, because they, I feel like somebody tampered with a condom or something to that effect. And yep, staging the crime scene, well, that would be tampering with something. Uh, yeah, and somebody just got caught up, damn, or staged something so that they would get caught so that they could cause uh, uh, stagnation in your relationship or a breakup. Yeah, somebody's been out here lying for clout, pressed about what you got going on. You're divinely guided, though. Yeah, so collective. Yeah, be careful about the energies you allow around you, okay? Because somebody isn't uh, around you for the right reasons, okay, Aquarius? Be mindful. Yeah, music on replay. So somebody's definitely in their feelings. Um, constantly listen to love songs or something like that because they want you back or whatever. Yep, they're, uh, yeah, what I say, they want you back. They're manifesting. Thank you, spirit. And the grass wasn't greener on the other, other side, of course. So this is definitely an obstacle and challenge, you know, for somebody to get back in your good graces. Yeah, and they're self-doubting themselves because how they did was they were just dirty and they were self-absorbed. They were only thinking of themselves, right? Yep, that's all coming out. That's the energy, yeah. So somebody is visualizing a new reality when it comes to this situation. What else do we have, spirit? Pray about it, yeah. I love you much more than I'm ready to admit, yeah. But y'all in the energy of like, yeah, you could keep all that and return to Cinder because you being fake as fuck. If you love me so much, you would have never did that. And this person is fearful that they're going to lose you for good because now it's like they can't take it back. For those of you who this isn't the storyline for you, but if somebody did have um, some type of fair, a fair indiscretion because there is definitely an affair or somebody was doing some cheating here and they got busted. Um, and doesn't necessarily have to deal with a, a child involved, um, but nonetheless, they got they they got busted, and uh, now someone is fearing the worst that this is going to be the end. Um, you know what I'm saying? So, ooh, take it out. Resonates, child. What's the potential outcome or final outcome here? Uh, potential. Hold on, let me pull these cards up, y'all, because y'all know Auntie Sport could get messy. Yeah, but there was definitely an injustice. Somebody was just moving unfair. I feel like somebody was not giving you a fair shot. You know, somebody was making you feel, you know, unwanted. Four of Cups energy. Um, you know, rejecting you in some way. It's only because they were giving to someone else somewhere, you know, elsewhere. And shit done hit the fan, caught up with them, and it's no takesy backsies. So, yeah. If you guys are watching and you're interested in uh, purchasing the Real Love Tarot deck, yes, we have our own deck on this channel. All the information is in the description box below. You can find this deck on our Etsy shop, the Real Love Tarot shop on Etsy. Uh, you can type it in just like that. It will pop up and go ahead and um, grab you a deck. All right. I love you guys so much and thank you for your support. What's the potential outcome for this uh, situation for my Aquarius? Potential outcome. Ooh. Give me messages. Wow. 
Two of Pentacles in the reverse, Wheel of Fortune. This is definitely faded, okay? So somebody was non-committal, clearly struggling, financial woes, feeling overwhelmed, yeah. But somebody was non-committed in this connection, which is why they stepped out, you know, for whatever reason. I feel like also, too, with the Four of Cups showing up in the in the last uh, deck, uh, somebody that has been feeling very much unfulfilled in the connection, which is why the... The cheating scandal happened in the first place, if you will. <laughs> I hate it. I hate to word it like that, but that's basically what it was. It was a cheating scandal. Yeah, and somebody's been feeling unfulfilled. Either you, them. It, I, I'm also getting the energy of you guys have both been unfulfilled in some way, but this person has took it upon themselves to, to go that extra mile, whereas some of you are just like, no, I'm not going to cheat on them, though. Blah, blah yeah somebody folded and they did it maybe before y'all did or whatever take it out resonate it's not saying that all y'all cheat but you know what i'm saying like you're like damn queen of stars energy look at you guys show up yeah yeah uh yeah so some of you guys this happened to you or you're the ones that that did the deed uh, listen it's listen let don't argue with me. Is this the energy? And I know you came here and said, well, I do. I did the thing. Now, what do I do? Well, it depends on how strong of a friendship that you have first before the relationship started romantically. But not even sometimes that will all, always work. If you really want to turn things around, the only thing I could say is pray about it. Just like the cards came out. You know what I'm saying? The sun. Yeah. You know? Because something has definitely been illuminated, um, you know, truth. In this case, this was a truth revealed. Now, normally the sun would be the happiest card in the deck, but some type of truth is uh, being revealed here in this situation. Yeah, Ace of Swords. Yep, again, there's the truth. Yep, truth and clarity. Are you learned, you know, somebody slipped up and you learned the truth about something. The magician, yeah. You could have manifested the truth as well. Yep, and somebody is, you know, in their head right now. Whew, nine of swords. Yeah, somebody is deeply in their head. You know, uh, you, you know, you. What is the, what are they taking inspired action to do? Uh, nine of cups. Yeah. To get the truth. Yeah, eight of wands. Fast communication with the truth. Yeah, Nine of Cups, wishes granted. So you guys have been wishing and praying for something to come to light because something wasn't settling well in your spirit. Yeah, what else about the Ace of Swords spirit? What else about the Ace of Swords? Thank you. Page of Wands, yeah. So um, good news, enthusiastic, new ideas or project. I also get the energy of before you moved into another uh, cycle with this person, like forward movement, like, in a deeper committed relationship, you needed to know if this could go the long run, um, but or for the long haul, if you will. And what happened was truth and you got you learned truth and clarity about this person's indiscretions, and now you're in your head about whether or not you should move forward with them. Yep. Because you guys got good news, new opportunities coming towards you. Yeah, four of wands. Yeah, you you know what I'm saying? You wanted stability with this person, just like I said. You wanted to know if they, you can go the long haul, if this person is marriage material. Because you have desire for that, right? And um, this could be your twin flame soulmate. doesn't have to be. But now you're in your head about it and you're thinking, now you're really thinking and you're anxious because you're like, I don't even know if this is something I want to go uh, move forward with or not. It's, yeah, yeah, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you could have wanted to work with this person. Or you got some good news coming in about someone wanting to collaborate with, collaborate with you. Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles energy. Why is that energy here? Ten of Cups. Yeah. Oh, you wanted to build something heavy. You know what I'm saying? And start new endeavors with this person. Right? This is like, you're like, I want to know if this is the one. So either you question this person or something. Either they left something behind or some type of evidence 
some type of evidence was found is what I'm energetically getting. And I don't think for some of you guys, you necessarily went looking for it. It just popped up and you had no choice but to address it. That's for some of you guys. Take a hat resonates with the Ten of Cups, the world. Yeah, because you, you're ready to go to the next cycle and close something out. But now you may be forced to close out this connection and have forward movement. King of Pentacles. Yep. CEO, boss, and uh, uh, financial investor, patriarch. You could be, yeah, because you could have wanted to invest in this connection on a on a higher scale. You know, you see what I'm saying? But then you find out the lying and the cheating. See, there's the seven of swords. Yeah, and this is a whole new death. Deception, liar, thief, betrayal. Yeah. Yeah, while you sitting up here trying to plan your future and some longevity or whatever, you'll find out this person is lying, cheating, having, you know, third-party energies and all kind of shit behind the scenes. Yeah, and that shit just, now you're just like, fuck. Yeah, four of swords. Now you just, you like, yeah, I'm cool. I want to really, yeah, four of swords, I'm going to lay this shit to rest. Seven of Cups, too many fucking illusions. Too many illusions, too much to see, trifling ass, betrayal, king, whatever, the king of cups. Mm hmm Emperor. Yeah. Yeah, so for some of you guys, you could have been married to this person or um, had children with this person. Ticket out resonates. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Mm-hmm. But you could be you you're self sufficient and financially secure on your own. You really don't need this person, okay? So some of you guys are sitting in hermit mode at this time, Virgo energy, trying to figure out which way to go and how to move forward um, with this connection. Yeah, nine of wands, There's lots of blockages here, and I feel some of you guys are uh, like keeping your distance. You're you're setting boundaries with this person now, like they can't just come up and rub on you and hug on you and do all this goofiness now. <laughs> that's a whole dub <laughs> they messed that up yep four of cups yeah kind of feeling like it's unrequited here yeah yeah i told y'all what does it say right there unfulfilled yeah you feel unfulfilled in this connection and you're guarded with the knight of wands yeah because you're like mm, yeah i don't you because you you showing your ass you know that's how y'all feeling this person showing their ass yeah hierophant Page of Pentacles. Yeah. You could have been, yeah, you definitely wanted a higher level of commitment with this person. And you wanted to, you know, have something, you know, deeper with them. You maybe wanted to offer them marriage, hand in marriage or something like, like that. With the Page of Pentacles is somebody who is, you know, giving some type of tangible offer. Could have been a ring. But you feel so betrayed by this person. Now you want to take the whole shit back. Whew, six of Wands. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So whoever the third party is, they were successful at breaking you guys up. Especially if your storyline was the one where um, that person ended up pregnant. Yeah, they had a very, whoever this devil energy is, could have been dealing with a Capricorn, don't have to be, <laughs> or a young uh, fire sign. Listen, they definitely succeeded in this. Yeah, yeah, they caused delays and challenges with the Seven of Pentacles to the connection, just like I said. Yeah, yeah. So, ooh, what else, Spirit? Yeah, so you guys just, yeah, yeah, the chariot. So some of you guys could be taking action to have some type of uh, new beginning um, for a job. Maybe some of you guys got a job offer coming in. Ten of Pentacles, yeah. Or somebody is going to try to come back and offer you um, long-term stability. But I don't think y'all want it. Check it out, resonates. For some of you guys, it's a job. Yeah, equal give and take. Or, so, or there, there's somebody that's going to try to balance something out and take a leap uh, forward towards you. But some of you guys, I just don't feel like it. Yeah, I said it. I feel like you guys don't want it. Eight of cups. Yep. And just like I said, what does that say? Walking away. You don't want it. I, I know energy. You cool on them. Yep. That's the final decision. Two of swords. Yeah, so, all right, Aquarius, okay, this is what I have for you guys. I'm leaving a reading here, and this is resonating with you. Some of you, all of you, whatever the case may be, um, make sure to hit the like, share, subscribe button. Share it with um, the one you know this is for. 
or with your friend be like, girl, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yep, I been suspected. It's coming out in the reading. Listen, it be like that sometime. All right, my love bugs. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you on your next one. Bye, Aquarius.